Oh, with ongoing trade tensions between Beijing and Washington, many foreign companies are moving their manufacturing facilities out of China. And Malaysia is benefiting from the exodus as these companies set up production hubs in other countries under a business strategy to diversify and thus cut risk known as China plus one. As Melissa Go reports, geopolitical friction and competition are driving major investment decisions involving billions of dollars. Malaysia is said to be in a sweet spot. It has a 50-year head start in semiconductor manufacturing since U.S. chip giant Intel set up its plant in the northern state of Penang. The existing ecosystem, in particular Penang and adjacent Kulim Kanda, is a magnet for tech companies seeking to de-risk amid intense rivalries between the U.S. and China over cutting-edge technologies. Many semiconductor and electric vehicle companies have been relocating to Southeast Asia to bypass trade restrictions and strengthen their supply chains. We are friendly to both China and the United States and because of the trade war between them, uh, we become a very suitable conduit to balance the trade war between these two countries where I have mentioned that China and not only China, actually European countries are also relocating to Malaysia because they want to export their products to China. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, who's been travelling overseas, has been on a charm offensive to woo high-tech investments. We are, of course, at your service. We will engage where you need the China market, that you need an important base in Malaysia. But just rolling out tax incentives is not sustainable amid stiff competition from neighbouring Indonesia and Vietnam. This is Malaysia aspires to move up the value chain. Uh, are we providing the right kind of uh, human resource? Uh, are we providing the right kind of um, uh, skilled uh, labour uh, to these companies so that they can be part of the higher value-added uh, manufacturing or, or services ecosystem? Uh, and I think uh, this is a challenge that many companies face. On top of that, Malaysia is said to be facing constraints in its local supply chains. We've seen examples of how some Chinese companies who have come into Malaysia in the past, uh, they do not fully integrate with the local supply chain. And what this means is that the local SMEs in Malaysia and other companies, they are not able to benefit from the FDI coming into Malaysia. Since 2021, Malaysia has seen a steady increase in foreign direct investment in its tech sector. Chip giants Intel and Infineon Technologies are each investing 7 billion US dollars to include design and advanced chip making beyond packaging, assembling and testing. Austrian tech giant ATNS is producing high-end circuit boards, while Nvidia is teaming up with local conglomerate YTL to develop a multi-billion dollar artificial intelligence cloud and supercomputer infrastructure in Malaysia. Ensuring local participation to create national champions is a key pillar of Malaysia's government strategy going forward. We are also engaging uh, Malaysian companies, Malaysian investors, uh, especially the government-linked investment companies, uh, to see how they can uh, participate as well. Um, in fact, uh, we have institutionalizing the process where we invite local uh, companies to also uh, have a uh, stake in the game. Malaysia is currently the sixth largest exporter of semiconductors in the world, accounting for about 13% of the global market. Now, while Malaysia is eager to bolster its position in the global semiconductor supply chain, the government is also aware of the risk of exposing the economy to greater volatility from an unpredictable tech cycle. But for now, the country is on the good path to becoming a hot spot in the electronics industry globally. Melissa Go. CNA Kuala Lumpur.